Hello, host Eric here, host of Talking with Famous People, here with Cameron, famous person, host, and Hello. real life friend, Cameron. And I'm here tonight to talk briefly about introverted sensing, the introverted sensing, the explorations of introverted sensing, a new adventure about ice cream. So, Cameron and I went to Baskin Robbins, which is very close to my house, and I explained to him that I wanted to get ice cream, and when I went to get ice cream, I like to get something familiar from my childhood as part of my SI explorations. And this is one such thing. This is what's known as a daiquiri ice freeze. Now, a daiquiri ice freeze is not something that's on the menu at Baskin Robbins. Nor has it been on the menu probably for at least 10 years, maybe longer, I don't know. But it's something I got when I was a kid, and I've gotten it ever since, and I've ordered it, and they don't know what it is, and I either explain it or someone in the store usually does, or something like that. Well, tonight, Kim and I went in there, and I said, I'd like to get a large daiquiri ice freeze, please. And then they both looked back over their shoulder at the menu. I said, it's not on the menu, but you guys do have it. I ordered it here lots of times before, and blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> they deny knowing how to make it. And <laughs> then they, uh, then this old guy comes out from the back, right? Like this Mr. Miyagi character. He's like an old Japanese guy. He's the owner of the Baskin Robbins. And the young employees are like, we're baffled by this challenge, you know. And do you know how to make this? Do you know, do you know what this is? Is Dr. Ray Spreezy wants? And the old guy, he kind of looks at me and kind of gives me a little, like, nod, like, mm, yeah, I, uh, good, you know. Oh, you're... You've, you've come up with something obscure. And he then turns, he looks at the young employees and he just nods. And goes and gets a cup and he hands it to me and he says, you know, fill it up with, up to the line with this much soda. Because the soda's not back there anymore. That's probably why it's not on the menu. And I fill it up and he takes it back there and he makes me my daiquiri ice freeze. Tastes exactly the same as it did when I was a kid. makes me happy to have that familiarity that's introverted sensing in action and that's what makes this back from Robin's trip very nice and I like the fact that it tied in with that guy's introverted sensing too right so there's this old guy there who he knows he's got this he's got this breadth of knowledge that he doesn't really have a lot of opportunity necessarily to share he knows all the old school tricks and trades of the Baskin Robbins recipes and here came in a challenge tonight, you know, one from like 20 years ago, and they probably last had that on the menu. It's not even behind the counter anymore where you can get to the sodas. But he knew exactly what I was talking about, made it burnt. Boom. So he probably got some satisfaction from that too, I would imagine. I think I would if I were in that situation. Anyway, Cameron here, he had the opposite approach. He says when he goes to the Robbins, he always likes to get new stuff. And in fact, he got, what did you get, Cameron? I got the. Uh, I'm just talking this direction. I got the course. donut sandwich, ice cream donut sandwich. Ice with, cream donut uh, sandwich. Pistachio ice cream that I've never had before. Pistachio ice cream. Indeed. Does it come with the shell still on the pistachios? Yeah, they were a little bit uh, nutty. There was a little bit. Of, well, no, not the shell. Not like a hard <laughs> shell. But, no, but there was that sort of outer junk on it. It wasn't right. like a processed nut that was all soft or anything. Mm. And how was it? It was pretty tasty. It was not a huge amount of ice cream, which uh, is the perfect amount for me to not have very much. Can you think of other foods besides ice cream where you do choose the childhood choice? Uh, choosing something the way I had it as a kid. Choosing the childhood choice when chewing. Well, first of all, in childhood, there wasn't that much choice with what we got to eat. But I mean, so, surely, um, like, you you know what you didn't, you didn't get these things when you were kids at Baskin Robbins. 
Okay, when I was a kid at Baskin Robbins, I would get Rocky Road and Mint and Chip. And I would get those over the years when you know, it was available, but um, I don't really eat ice cream that much. Mm. I see. Thank you, Cameron. Of course. So, as you hear there, he's not as childhood attached to ice cream type as I am, perhaps. My family, my dad took me to get ice cream. Well, my dad was a big ice cream fan. He ate a lot of ice cream. I ate a lot of ice cream. Went to Baskin Robbins near my house a lot. Probably went there when it was called 31 Flavors, if you recall that. I do for sure because I recall that it used to be kind of like their thing. We would have 31 flavors that were active, and then some flavors would go away, and some flavors would come back, and stuff like that. I think it's still probably like that, but uh, I don't I don't see the 31 flavors anywhere in the in the name anymore. Anyway, so that's my take on ice cream and introverted sensing. I'm glad to get the stack of ice. It's not really that hot anymore outside, but it's still very refreshing after drinking nothing but coffee today. So, uh, thanks for watching, and don't forget to eat plenty of childhood cheese. Don't forget to choose childhood cheese when choosing what to chew, okay? It's important to take care of your introverted sensing. This thing up, and then of course the meow with the meow.